All right, today we're taking a look at yet another Toyota Coaster. Um, this one is a 1992 model, but pretty much the same spec as a couple of the others that we've had in the past, the Camping Saloon, with this green, two-tone green livery. This one is the same layout, same engine, the 1HDT turbo diesel that came in the Land Cruiser as well. Around 21 feet long. Rides on air suspension, rear wheel drive, dual rear wheels, pretty much the same as the other ones we've had in the past. Um, we were lucky to be able to find another one. This one has pretty low mileage, right around 45,000 miles on the inline six turbo diesel, which is really low mileage for one of these engines. Um, these are kind of built to run forever, so this one has bit of a scratch and dent there, but besides that, looks clean all the way down, paint looks to be in great shape. Put that seat back a little bit. So yeah, 72,000 kilometers, comes out to around 45,000 miles. This one's an automatic transmission. And just like all the other ones we've had, um, exhaust brake there. Got a lot of controls up here. Here's your air conditioning. AC does work in this one. Um, single DIN radio there. Yeah, this one starts right up as it should. One crank and it's good. Pretty much all there is to it. That light there is for the e-brake. If I let that down, that shuts off. So yeah, fairly simple up here. Um, here's your passenger seat and your VIN number plate is down in that corner there, as well as a little window so you can see the curb on that side. Makes parking a little easier. Got a quartz clock up there huge windshield that wraps all the way around great visibility all the way around even with the rear view mirror here you get a pretty good view out of the back so we can head into the back and get a better sense of that layout so you've got the two front seats plus some extra seats on either side here that will turn into a bed that goes all the way across here so an extra sleeping space um, and you've got your kitchen space here, so it's a, there's no stove, but you can use this as a cooktop. There's a vent right there. Um, then your sink is right under this panel here. Water pump switch there. Fridge over here. And then this is what would have been the shower room. Um, so you can see it's a waterproofed room here. The door is missing and it looks like the shower was removed. This can essentially become whatever you want it to. It's kind of a blank room right now. Um, so storage, or if you want to reinstall a full bathroom in here, absolutely an option. It has all the plumbing for that. So, kind of a blank canvas there, and usually people end up replacing the 25-year-old shower rooms anyways. Um, then going into the back here, you have the main sleeping area, so this will all fold down into a giant bed. This dinette will kind of go out of the way. Got some cup holders in there. Big split windows back here. This thing has split windows everywhere, which is really nice. That's always my preference is split versus the pop-outs. And then got some storage bays up there. I'm gonna show you the seat, it's very comfy. Um, then you can stick a little TV in there. That's what have been in there originally. So. Yeah, fairly simple in here, um, but it's really nice, it's really well insulated, and it's just, it's cozy, as it should be for a camper. And the way these doors on the side open is, that's always really cool. Pushes out, kind of flips out of the way like that. Let's see like this. So, yeah, that's really cool, it's nice and out of the way. Get your batteries under this panel here. Oh, and the engine is right under that panel right there in between the seats. And 
Then moving towards the back, there's what would be your water drain for the shower room. Got a little storage compartment back here, just underneath the seats. This is where your jack, tool kit, all that's stored, as well as the seat belts are down here right now for this um, kind of back seat. Just in case you need those, you can move those up, but if you're using it mostly for a bed, then you won't really need the seat belts. But yeah, everything is clean under here. It's a nice little storage space to have. So yeah, these are really cool campers. This is kind of Toyota's from the factory camper. Um, they manufactured these in-house, so it's not a third party making the camper kit. This is how they came from Toyota. So you can find more information on this one on our website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. That's the 1992 Toyota Coaster. Um, we have had a couple of other coasters in the past, so if you're looking through information on the YouTube channel and the website, you can tell this one's different by the color of the wheels. This one has the black wheels, the other one's had silver. So just look out for that. Um, but yeah, find more information on our website. Thanks for watching.